Hi guys, it's Pamela. I saw a leopard swipe today. It was Julie Cuts, and I thought, well, that's just really beautiful. And I've always liked leopard prints, so I just had to try it. I've got Master's Touch in raw umber and burnt sienna. And uh, I mixed um, a primary yellow with Amsterdam and uh, also a gold yellow with Amsterdam. Mix those together to get the spots. <laughs> Leopard spots, yeah. And for the outline, now I always thought the outline was black, but not with leopard. So I don't know, was I thinking of giraffe? I don't know, I had to go look it up. Because you know, I don't look at it every day, so I had to go look it up. So I made my selectivator, or what I'm going to swipe with, out of mainly that golden yellow from um, from Amsterdam. And you know what? It's really the same color. That's not going to work. I need to put a little more yellow in it. Let me go turn this TV off. <laughs> okay, it's still... I've got like one part paint, two parts flow troll. It's still pretty orangey. I don't want to keep adding that yellow. I think I'm just going to add some more orange to the spot because that's the cell activator. This is the spot. Um, you know, I've got this orange neon. I'll just add a little of that. And I've got some red, but I'm going to do that so it gives a little more pop. Not that leopards pop that much, but you know what I mean. Okay, now it's orange. Okay, and I'm using my Glidden Premium Base 3, again, interior gloss. Two parts of that. I'm sorry, I mix it with my Minwax polyurethane that I use first. I'll list all this below and then with the ratios. So I'm mixing two parts of that pouring medium to one part of the paint, maybe a little bit more of the pouring medium. And um, I also have Glidden House paint here. And this is, oh goodness. <laughs> open that, give me a second while I open this. Oh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> you can hear that little noise in the background. That's my cats chomping down on, on their dinner. It's dinner time. It's the only way I can get them to leave me alone while I'm painting. Is either feed them or Put them outside. Okay. This is just a piece of MDF board that has cork on the back. I bought these last summer. And you have to tape off the, the cork. And, um, I decided I wasn't that big a fan of that. I did make some coasters because they come in a smaller size. This is like the 10 inch round. Oh, that didn't do anything. That didn't either. I mix my paint with a little GAC 800, like a tablespoon of GAC 800 for every four cups of paint. And again, this is the Glidden Base One. I'll put a little bit more in there. I'm 
Okay, so these aren't as thick as I usually make. So we'll see what happens. I have no clue. I didn't even really watch Julie's video all the way through. I just thought leopard plant print. That's going to be that's going to be something. Okay. So I don't know in what order she poured the paints on. The cell activators mixed um, about a teaspoon of paint with about three teaspoons of Floetrol. And to thin it out a little bit more, I think I put like two drops of water. Um, the Floetrol I used though for this, the other was regular American Floetrol. This one I used this Paint Easy. I've got this and you have to be careful with it. It thins your paint out too much. And I don't know. I'm trying to make it work, so I'm going to use it here. Maybe I could mix it with the regular American Floetrol and get some results. No, we'll see. That should be plenty. The yellow. Any paper towel? Settling up. You hear my cat? Zeus, please don't. It's something about me being busy. You've been outside once, Zeus, please. I swear it's like having kids. Well, it's going to be a, a two-tone giraffe. He's going to be one color on one side and one color on the other. <laughs> I mean leopard. Did I say giraffe? Well, it might be a giraffe before it's over. We'll see. I'm just going to do it with that. We're just going to tell it. Zeus, please.